The SuperJoy is an advanced PTZ camera controller that can control both serial and IP PTZ cameras. This joystick features on-screen display controls, powerful custom buttons, and power over Ethernet support. In this video, you will learn about the full functionality of the SuperJoy controller and walk through the steps required to set up your SuperJoy. The SuperJoy is easy to set up. When you first receive your PTZ Optic SuperJoy, the first thing you should do is read through the included quick start guide. Inside of the box, you will find the controller, a 12 volt 2 amp power supply, and the quick start guide. The SuperJoy features backlit rubberized buttons designed to make video production comfortable and efficient. Take a moment to review the available buttons and dials that will light up to guide camera operators on which features are available in specific modes. Later on in this video, you will learn about the basic mode and matrix mode available to increase the functionality of this joystick controller for new and advanced users. On the right hand side of the controller, you will see the joystick. Twisting this joystick will operate the camera's optical or digital zoom. Moving the joystick around will operate the camera's pan and tilt functions. In the center of this controller, you will see the central display, which will tell you about the camera you are currently connected to. This is your central display to quickly see camera groups, exposure modes, white balancing, and more. On the top left-hand side of this joystick, you can access your camera's white balance and exposure modes. This area includes dials you can use to quickly twist and adjust your camera's red and blue gain along with iris and shutter speed. To the right of this area is your camera's pan, tilt, and zoom speed setting. You can adjust pan, tilt, zoom, and focus speeds for manual controls along with controlling the camera's speed between preset locations. At the bottom left-hand side of the controller, two large knobs allow you to fine-tune focus and optical zoom. In the center of the controller, you have six camera switching hotkeys, along with set and call PTZ preset buttons designed to help you quickly save and recall specific camera positions in your space. The SuperJoy also includes four custom buttons you can use to take control of other IP connected devices in your area. This could include studio lighting, TVs, and much more. Can you imagine the convenience of turning on an entire studio full of equipment with your joystick? Later on in this video, you will see how to use these buttons to switch sources in a video production software. The same functionality is available with a large number of IP connected devices that support HTTP, TCP, UDP, and UART commands. This joystick also supports cameras using the latest version of NDI, opening the door to control any camera that offers NDI V4 compatibility or newer. This makes for a more universal solution as new NDI cameras become available. Now let's take a look at the connectors available on the back of the SuperJoy. First, you have an RS-232 connection used for controlling serial cameras. The SuperJoy supports both serial and IP camera connections, making it an ultimate two-in-one solution for flexible productions. To support multiple projects, operators can save cameras into unique groups, enabling the SuperJoy to be used in multiple locations. There are three serial camera connections available. You can choose RS-232, RS-422, or RS-485. The next connector is an Ethernet RJ45 connection that is used for network control. This connection can also be used to provide power to the camera using 802.3AF PoE power. The SuperJoy also includes an HDMI port to display a live video feed from the connected camera. 
you can plug an HDMI cable into the back of the SuperJoy as an easy way to set up and tune cameras from anywhere the joystick is connected. The next connection is a USB 2.0 port that can be used to back up your SuperJoy settings. This is ideal if you have multiple setups you want to quickly import into the joystick. This allows you to use the SuperJoy in one place and then quickly import the settings for a new area with new cameras. Finally, there is a 12 volt DC power input you can use if you are not using PoE power. Note, do not use the power supply and an ethernet connection with PoE at the same time. If you don't know if your ethernet cable is PoE enabled, plug it in first. If the joystick turns on, then you're all set and you do not need to use the power supply. If the joystick does not turn on, it is safe to plug in your power supply. Once connected to your network, the SuperJoy can be easily set up using a web browser on any computer. Alternatively, you can configure the essential settings of the joystick from the LCD display. The SuperJoy will dynamically obtain an IP address upon the connection to your local area network, assuming your network has a DHCP compatible router. Once the joystick receives an IP address, it will be shown at the top of the menu screen. To connect to the joystick's web interface, type the IP address of your joystick into any web browser. By default, you can log in by typing in admin as the username with no password. Note, we recommend setting up a unique password for your joystick. This can be done in the settings menu under the user tab. You can also set up a guest user login with limited access to settings. Once you have logged in to the joystick via a web browser, you will see multiple tabs available to configure various parameters in the joystick. Starting with the devices tab, you will see that there are four groups you can use to organize groups of cameras up to seven at a time. On the physical joystick, you can see that you can click the cam group button to change your current group. From the devices tab, you can click the modify button to add your cameras into this group. You can choose Visca UDP with control port 1259 or Visca TCP with control port 5678 for IP control of any PTZ Optics camera. You can also choose Visca UDP Sony for Sony PTZ camera control. Enter your camera's IP address and login information and everything else will be automatically filled in for you. You can continue to add cameras in the device tab until all of your cameras have been added. The next tab, labeled Control, is a simple interface designed for mobile devices. You can enter the IP address of the joystick with the slash control.html at the end of the IP address into any smartphone to bring up the interface. This is a great way to gain simple PTZ controls with a smartphone or tablet. You can quickly copy this URL using the URL button in the top right corner. For novice users, the SuperJoy now features a basic mode that allows the joystick to operate in a safe mode where only the most basic commands can be accessed. When basic mode is enabled, the joystick's backlighting system illuminates only the buttons your camera operator needs. The first time you click basic mode, you are able to select a camera, operate the joystick, and call presets. But basic mode limits all other functionality, which is perfect for volunteers and people new to production that do not need to adjust the camera's advanced exposure, white balance, or other settings. The second time you click basic mode, the PTZ joystick is also disabled, only allowing users to select the camera and call presets. The third time you click basic mode, it is now disabled and you are in the main mode. SuperJoy's matrix mode is designed for easy operation of up to three cameras, allowing operators to easily access three cameras with three presets. You can enter matrix mode using a smartphone with the URL provided in the web interface or by pressing the matrix mode button on the controller. 
Like basic mode, when in matrix mode, all buttons available will illuminate. This is a great way to simplify camera controls for new PTZ camera operators. To exit matrix mode, you can click the matrix mode button again or click the escape button. One of the most useful features inside the SuperJoy is the four custom buttons available. These custom buttons allow you to send commands to devices on your network via HTTP, TCP, UDP, or UART. This means that you can set up a button that triggers a few cameras to move, but also performs a scene switch on a video production software like the new Tech TriCaster, vMix, OBS, and more. This is ideal for productions with multiple cameras that want to perform a quick scene change and a few other automated actions. Note, if you would like to control OBS with this joystick, you will need to install the WebSockets plugin. Now, let's take a look at creating a custom button with the Super Preset option. From the drop-down menu found in Custom tab, choose Super Preset. You can set up multiple cameras to move at the same time, plus you can add a single HTTP command to trigger something like a scene switch. You can select cameras from the group you have set up already and choose the camera ID for each. Let's trigger four cameras to move in a single scene and then choose a fade to a specific input in vMix, the video production software we will use for this example. If you would like to have the cameras to move at different times and then trigger a scene with a few seconds of delay, you can do this using the HTTP trigger function. Once you have added the cameras you would like in the super preset, you can enter an HTTP command at the end. To find the API for commands for vMix, you can reference the vMix API documentation. The vMix API is fairly straightforward, and in order to use it, you will need to use the web controller address found in the settings area. The API call we will use for this example will perform a fade with input 4. The call looks like this, http colon slash slash 192.168.1.207 colon 8088 slash api slash question mark function equals fade ampersand duration equals 1000 ampersand input equals 4. This command basically says to fade to input 4 with a duration of 1000 milliseconds. Next, let's set up a second super preset button to do another scene change. This time, we will use preset 2 for each camera and we will change the vMix API to fade to input 5. Remember to check the box next to each camera you would like to use in your super preset. Also remember to check the box next to the HTTP command. Once you have entered the vMix API string into the HTTP command section, click Save. It's now time to test these custom buttons out on your SuperJoy. You can click Custom Button 1 to call Scene 1 for four PTZ cameras and initiate a fade, and then click Custom Button 2 to call Scene 2. It's that easy. Notice how vMix will perform a scene change as part of this process. Custom buttons can be set up to trigger lights, cameras, and just about anything else on your network with the right protocols. Get creative and let us know how you're using them in our Facebook user group. Finally, if you'd like to back up your SuperJoy, you can do so directly from the unit using a USB thumb drive. It's also possible to back up your unit using the web interface. Now you have set up your SuperJoy. Congratulations. More information about setting up the SuperJoy is available in the included manuals and quick start guide. If you have any questions during this process, feel free to submit a ticket at help.ptzoptics.com or give us a call on our phone number listed on the website. Thanks, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.